Greetings, gentlemen. So what is a toilet Casanova? It's a term I generally apply to a lot of PUAs. Not all, but a lot of you. This is OTR Ogre and Gorgon. It's going to be a little big toe philosophical moment. Like, link, and subscribe. Comment if you so choose. Let's get into this. Okay, what is a toilet Casanova? And generally, this could be your general run around town poon hound or fucking your actual PUAs. Because I'm going to tell you, for all the scores and keep game keeping a lot of these guys talk about, they're not banging the hottest bitches in the world. Tens are very rare. Uh, fucking, you know, maybe there's something beyond tens, but let's just be honest. Tens are really rare. Nines are, they're around, but not really. Um, fucking eights. Yeah, there's a lot of them, but they're not, they're not fucking with these guys. Sevens are a great day for a toilet Casanova. <laughs> they're generally banging something that's like maybe six, fives, fives are normal, and then you know, fours and threes. They'll they'll go down even lower than that. They'll go into the minus numbers. So maybe we'd say there is something like there's a, a plus two ten. So there are chicks that are really that hot. There's really those those upper crust chicks. But those are never gonna happen for a toilet Casanova. For one thing, most guys that are toilet Casanovas, they're not rich. And they're just getting the average puss they can get. And they're getting a lot of it over the course of the time. But eventually what happens with most of these guys, either oops, there's a fucking kid and the game's over. Or they end up catching a fucking dick disease. And I had a buddy of mine back home where I grew up. And I was MGTOW as fuck probably in the early 2000s because, you know, before there was MGTOW, there were people thinking like that. Just more ideas came together and people started having, you know, ways to talk down the road, just like with PUA and all that. But these techniques have always been around. But I remember looking over this dude, and, you know, we were, we were talking about something, we were arguing about something, he eventually says this comment, like, uh, well, least I'm getting laid, dude. I mean, I'm like, I said, look at the chicks you're fucking, dude. I mean, like, what? You went down and found fucking some skank at the bar? Like, dude, that ain't a catch. And I want to point this out. The Toilet Casanova is kind of the equivalent of the uh, Thousand Cock Stare chick. In fact, they're probably fucking. And so the thing of it is, is that what, what, a lot of, what I take from this when I tell people this, a lot of guys put this great championship on, I got laid. I'm a man. Okay. What is that really worth? Like, I can understand where a guy who's married and he cares about his situation, I can, I can respect that. But just like this mindless level of banging all the time, to me, that doesn't seem any different than a drug addict. Like, after, you know, even a drug addict, if they quit the drugs and they don't fuck up their body too bad, maybe they can move on with their life. But do you see some of these toilet Casanovas and they catch diseases eventually? All them condom free sex must have been great. Oh shit, now you got fucking AIDS or dick warts or some shit. Yeah, try explaining that to your potential spouse. Well, baby, I love you, but I have warts. <laughs> A buddy of mine had that happen. He had fucking warts. <laughs> fucking hilarious, right? Sad, really. And for all the years and all the money and all the booze and party and drugs and shit, what do you got to show for it? Like, you don't even know how many guys you run into, and their life is literally, well, I had a lot of fun back in the day. They're an OG, old gangster. They're talking about all the shit they used to have. They ain't a player no more. They're just some OG. OG, man. But that, that's what it really comes down to. You see people who have their game together, like, you know, they're teenagers. Like, I, I gotta say it, those fucking Asians and the tiger parents, you know, tiger mom and stuff, like, focused. You are gonna get an education or you're gonna be a businessman. You're gonna be this. And you see these kids... When they become young adults, they're not wasting any time becoming somebody. And they build things in the world. They own things. Like, and that guy, by the way, those guys that have their shit together are getting laid, too. So, you could argue that getting laid isn't the apex of their existence. Not for the, not the case of the Toilet Casanova. That's all they got. But what you got to consider in life, whether you're going to be MGTOW or not or whatnot, is... You can't pay the bills of the future with the pleasant memories of pussy in the past. But you pay real finite time and resources, money, 
maybe even some of your health, just to get your dick wet. Now, I know a lot of people would be pissed if someone said they ain't a man, they ain't an animal. They're, no, I'm not an animal. But I guess I've said before, I don't think most men we consider these days are really men. They're dudes, they're bros, they're guys, they're overgrown teenagers. They don't have their shit together. And when you see some guy who's basically fucking anything that walks, yeah, that guy, is, that's a guy. That ain't no man. I mean, he might be a player. He might be in good shape. What's he got to show for it? And this is what's funny about, you know, modern society and world. Like, you can look back in the day, people used to get married. Men got married so they could get laid, let's be real. Have a family, pass on their lineage, build an empire. But now they got guys out there trading the best years of their life just to rent a temporary feeling. And these people don't realize they're chumps. Anyways, y'all have a good one. This is OTR Ogre out. Like, link, and subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Take it easy.